my name is Louise and today I'm filming my 29th Shop My Stash. It is May. <laughs> the last one I filmed was in February, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, I have all these things I pulled right here. I have a different setup because I have a new tripod and I'm still trying to figure it out, but yeah. Um, so I have these things here. I've used them some, some, one thing at least will be a declutter, but anyway, let's just, yeah. So first I pulled this liquid blush. I'm super excited to do a stop shop my stash. So I'm talking very quickly. Anyway, the first one thing I pulled blush uh, from gloss gods in babe. Um, I use it a few times. It is a very pretty color. So, you know, the second item was a highlighter and it is the one called lavender steel from NYX. It is repotted into this Clinique thing. Washing machine going, excuse it. I also have a window up here that I have not figured out if I should cut or cover or not, but whatever. Very pretty, love it, will continue using it. Then I pulled a bronzer, the Glam Bronze from um, L'Oreal, this one. I think the pan might be larger than when I entered it, which, you know, since I have used it a few times. I'm considering if I just should just repress this whole thing, like, you know, into one, because this highlighter is like, not much, really, it's not much, it's just like, a little chalky, so. Anyway, maybe. Then, from my foundation drawer, I chose the PS My Perfect Color Flawless Glow in Buttermilk. Buttermilk? A present from a friend. I absolutely love this thing. I love the doe foot. I love the effect. I love the shade on me. I love how it feels. It's just, oh, I love it so much. Um, I have used it like as the only base product, which I feel works pretty well, but it's very, very sheer if you use it like that. But oh, I love it so much. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next thing from my foundation primer drawer was the NYX um, Plump Right Back Plumping Serum. Plus, plus primer. Plumping Serum Plus Primer. I really like this as well. It is one of those airless pumps and the airless pump is like here. I don't think there's that much left at all. It might be like the final. Oh, so sad. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. The mascara I chose was the H&M Forever Curled Lash. I said last time, it does not hold a curl. It does give a really nice separation and the black is very saturated. So I really enjoy it for that, but there is absolutely no curl holding action, which is really, I mean, if it's called forever curled, like, come on. So yeah, if it, if it, this had actually held a curl, this would probably have been a new favorite mascara because it's a good price and like everything else. I really also like the wand. I don't know if I showed you last time. Let me see if I can see it's like a curve I think I, sh I feel like I showed you oh, it's just I love it anyway I don't have a setting spray in my collection yet one is on its way to me so I'm very excited about that but what I have done is I've mixed a Lancome toner with water and put it into this thing it works fine I mean it feels nice if I spray it over powdered products or powder products, it does settle them a bit. So I do, you know, I, that was a hack, I guess it worked. I also had my mascara tool, which I completely forgot that I had shopped. And I have a little toiletry case where I keep my shopped items and I completely forgot to look at it for this thing. So it will come back and but go with me to work. From my primer, eye primer, eyeliner, lip liner drawer, I pulled the Morphe eyelid primer it has now started to smell i think it is oh yeah making my eyes like water more so this one is being decluttered mm -hmm. as eyeliners i pulled the isadora glossy eyeliner in 40 chrome black this one has been open for a year now it still works really well but i feel like i want to like not use this anymore because i couldn't like it so so i was gonna do my eyeliner today and i couldn't find this so i opened an eyeliner and I really want to continue using that one but you know there's still a good amount of juice left in this so I cannot with a clear conscience not continue using this one but anyway I do like it Isadora glossy eyeliner in 40 curl black waterproof as an eye shadow pencil I chose the NYX jumbo eye pencil crayon in sherbet I adore this shade it is so much fun just beautiful pink 
Oh, pastel pink. So nice, so nice. For eyeliner, I chose the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Eye Pencil in Black Plum. I think I used this one once, maybe. It's fine, it's pretty, it still, you know, hasn't dried out or anything, so yeah. Mm -hmm. As lip liner, I pulled the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Line On Lip Pencil in Liar. This is a really nice cool tone brown. I think I used it a few times, but I cannot remember when. Lipsticks I chose were the Kiko Milano Velvet Passion in 311. This is an absolutely gorgeous shade. I am wearing it today. It's a little orange toned red. I love it so much. It's super comfortable. It smells nice. It doesn't um, migrate like into my fine lines around my lips, which I, you know, appreciate. I oh, love this so much. Another super favorite lipstick is from Paul and Joe called Paris Metro. It's this really pretty pinky beigey something. Oh, it's super comfortable. It's just like it's like a lip balm, but not, and because it's like a lipstick, but it feels like lip balm because it's so comfortable and it's oh, just lovely. <laughs> okay, so those are my shopped items for February. Let's do the May shop. Okie dokie, these are blushes. The angle will be a little different, I feel. Let us see here. So, I really like how well organized this drawer is looking. Um, did I have these last time? I don't think so. These are the Merit blushes. My friend gave them to me. They were like a gift set. They're very pretty. They're really sheer, actually. So you'd think that they're super pigmented, but they're not. They're easily worn. What? Easy to wear. I hope the sound is okay. I'm, um, again, experimenting <laughs> with my new tripod. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's do this one. The Surratt Ponceau. I haven't used this one in a really long time, and it is super pretty. Oh wow, that is so washed out. <laughs> this lighting is weird. Let me just change the lighting. Hold on. There, is that better? Ooh. <laughs> I think this is better. My hands are huge. Anyway, let's do that one. Right? Or, okay, you know what? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's do this one as well. This is the Rare Beauty Truth Blush. It is very pretty, but these are super pigmented, so you can only just a dot. Ooh. Okay, so two different feels. Very pleased with that, actually. Hmm. Part of me wants to take a red blush as well, but no, 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 no. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. Moving into highlighters. Okie dokes. Wow, this drawer looks so empty in comparison to the blush drawer, which is fine. Which is fine. Um, so, you know, since it is spring, let's take the Spring Strobe Spectrum palette from Zoeva. These are very pretty. They just look a bit chalky though. Um, and I have, oops, fail. I mean, you can see that they shift in color. They kind of remind me of that, what's that palette called? The triangular one from uh, Kat Von D. Can you see the shift? It's luminous. Um, I think also these work better if you apply them with your finger to really like meld them to the skin because a, I feel a brush just like deposits the powder on top without, with like, yeah, without me. <laughs> Words are failing me. Anyway, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do that one. Okie dokes. Now bronzers. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Um, wow, they're so I don't feel like any of these anyway, so let's just move these out of the way. You know what? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> this is a little embarrassing. I have um, like real, in terms of real, real, real bronzers, cream bronzers. I have one, two, three. Yeah. I had the one, the milk bronzer in baked um, in the full size. I gave it to my niece, no, cousin's kids. Because they wanted it, and I was like, it's pretty old, and they're like, it doesn't matter, we want it. I'm like, okay, okay. So, anyway, so I have three cream bronzers one, two, three. I do not need a fourth, but I bought a fourth. <laughs> Isadora, the Contour Stick Sculpt and Define in 34 Dark Almond. It is so dark, dark almond. It is so pretty. I do have a cream bronzer in my, um, not the Defining Project Pan, though, so no, no, no. Um, mom, 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 mom. talked about wanting to repress these for a very long time now. Um, I 
should just do it, shouldn't I? Okay, anyway, this is the Libege in number 30. It is so pretty, but the frock packaging is, you know, for the price. I mean, come on, what is that? Um, but, ah, oh, this is annoying. Ah, okay. Let's try to do a swatch, I guess. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't lose any powder. I probably did, but well. Yeah? Yellow tote? Let's do that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Yes. Okay, that is that. And then base products. Um, I have a foundation in my deck of panning, so we're happy with that. I will be decluttering this mascara from Isadora, the Lash Styler Curl Mascara in black, 50 black. It is not a good mascara. I don't like it. Um, it's uh, It flakes and ooh, ooh, there is a lot. I mean, the brush looks nice, but it deposits so much, like spider lash times, I don't know, I just don't like the way my lashes look. No, no, no. So, goodbye. Declutter. Um, so, this one is almost empty. I do feel like taking it just because of that, but then I need another one as well. This one, the Mina UK, I think it's called, the moisturizing primer I got in my advent calendar. It is so comfortable. I really like it. But yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it was from Wishful. Right? Oh my god, totally blank. Let's try that one. Okay, let's do these two. Yeah. Actually, let's do these ones. This these three. The Wonder Glow Instant so Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. It is very glowy, but it also smells very nice. Look at that. It's almost like a highlighter, but it's so pretty. Let's do that one. Okay, so three primer products. Um, we will take this one again. I have ordered new mascaras, which feels a little naughty, but yes. Until they arrive, we will do this one. Um, do we need a primer? No, powder, sorry. Oh, mascara tool. I don't think we need a powder just yet. It has not become hot here, so there's really no point. Ooh, my... Um, self-made setting spray. Mm -hmm. I did order a setting spray as well. I hope it'll be here by the, the day after tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. but yes, I think that is that for that drawer. So moving into primers, or at least in like eyeshadow bases, eyeshadow pencils, eyeliners, and lip liners. I bought this on a whim. It was super expensive, but I did have like a coupon, so it was a little cheaper, but still like for the price, honestly, it's just a, just a luxe bomb. But it is so extremely comfortable. Um, I know in, was it an empties or a haul? I talked about how I bought a body shop lip balm because I was hoping that it would like smell like it used to when I was a kid and it didn't and I was disappointed so I you know decluttered it this one I think the smell is supposed to be cherry but I feel like it smells like that body shop lip balm and I'm so excited and it really it's I mean I always complain about lip balms when they're scented I'm always like I don't like them this one and this one and my Milani one that I left upstairs they are exceptions to the rule I love them but this one at the moment is my current favorite I don't need a lip balm for my shop by stash so you know she will stay here but whoa just saying okay um in my current eyeshadow roulette i have very like brown toned um eyeshadows so let's do this one max constructivist it's still very creamy i'm impressed look at that though oh, 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 oh. okay i don't know if you can see it that well Ooh. yeah so pretty righty oh then um okay 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 so let's do this one as well makeup forever aquamatic in i30 because i feel like it'll be a fun base for my current eyeshadows as well you know to make them a little less brown yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then the Eyeliner. So this is the one that I should use. This is the one I opened today, the Essence Lash Princess Liner Black Waterproof. I did not expect that it would be 
a marker. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, for some reason, I thought it was a dip. I kind of like this one, but yeah. It, I haven't used one of these in very many years. And it was very easy to make my wings. So I was like, oh, fun. Oh my God. You know what? I'm sorry, but we're, we're taking this one. And this one just called my name. The Color Essence Eye Pencil from H&M in Out Loud. Ooh, that will go well with my current shape as well. Fun. Okay. Ooh, this wasn't even well. No. <gasps> okay, let's do this one as well. <laughs> the Bright Liner in Elso Lilac from H&M. Oh my gosh. Pretty, 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 pretty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I bought these two recently. Um, they are the Swedish, like, it's not Sephora, but it's like the Swedish beauty store. They're in-house brand. They are very pretty as well, um, but mm, I don't, no, not today, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So these things, hmm, when it comes to babies here, let's do this one and then let's see here. Let's do, oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, let's do that one and the brown one. Okay, so this is a, one of the new H&M lip liners. They're so nice, except they're impossible to read the name of because it's tiny. Okay, so this one should be Muted Mauve, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is actually very similar to Liar. So, mm -hmm. then we have this Expresso shade from Faith Stockholm. Mm -hmm. And finally, this Tangerine Orange shade from Isadora. This one is starting to dry out, so I feel like it's okay to use it. The angle for filming this, let me tell you, is so... I have to figure out a better way for my back. Anyway, yes, okay, good. Oh, wait, hold on, this one. Let's do this one as well. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. Um, it is called Color Essence Eye Pencil in Azure Thing. I love the name, so fun. I really just watched you just pop it there. Ooh, that was my shoulder that popped. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Ooh, I should, I guess, use the the Estee Lauder, no, Clarins, sorry, this is Clarins, because they are, like, super similar to each other, yeah, okay, you know what, I cannot, I cannot use this new one until I use that one, mm -hmm. yep, and finally, lipsticks, okie dokie, if you watched my lipstick collection, you know that I have, like, gone through all my lipsticks, I have a few that are, like, misplaced somewhere in my home, and I don't know what to do, but yeah, uh, you know, let's see this one. Oh yeah, let's do Stone, the cult lippy from years ago. Mm-hmm, pretty, pretty. And let's do the Sonia Riquel 18, Sublime Rouge. I think that's just the, the collection name. And then let's see the Fat Tangerine here. It's like a slightly metallic-y, pink-y something. Mm -hmm. And then... from Smashbox a gray I just feel like it just you know let me live look at that can you even see anything oh, yes 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 ta-da okie dokie so that that was my shop so mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about this um, I had already planned my look for tomorrow, but maybe I have to, you know, reevaluate it a bit because Yes, anyway, um That was that I am not sure about the lighting or whatever, but we'll figure it out as we go. So I am now going to what time is it? <sighs> maybe I should eat something Food might be nice We had pizza today and then we went to a cafe and I had this it's like a, um, um, it's an, I don't know if it's an almond biscuit bottom thing. It's very like sproingy and 
I hate this word, I'm sorry, moist. <laughs> and then there's a buttercream, and then it's covered with a dome of chocolate, like melted chocolate that then becomes, it hardens, you know? Oh, it's so yummy. But as you might imagine, it's very filling. So then I came home and I had ice cream. Um, yeah, so I think I need some kind of like more proper food. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, that was it. Our washing machine is again very, 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 very loud, but that's how it is. Um, yeah, so I am looking forward to using these things. I hope to get back to you in two weeks, but we don't know. Anyway, so that was it. <laughs> um, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, and do your laundry. And I will see you when I see you with a new shop, my stash. Bye.